Hey everyone, welcome back to Moto Photo Adventures. My name is Chris and we are going to be doing a cool install video for you today. We're going to be installing some brand new luggage racks for the, the new Touareg 660. Most of you guys know that we recently traded in the Honda CB500X for this Touareg 660. It was lightly used, a great deal. We couldn't pass it up and we have turned it into a major project bike. So. Check out all the other videos that we already have for this bike and there are so many more to come so you'll want to make sure that you subscribe to the channel and follow along because we've got a ton of content coming out for this new project bike. But for today I'm going to show you how to install the side luggage racks and the rear luggage rack from Outback Motor Tech. Outback Motor Tech is an awesome company. If you're new to the channel, you may not have seen it yet. If you are a follower of the channel, you've already seen all of the other bikes that we have outfitted with Outback Motor Tech gear. It's a father and son combination family company, but the uh, one arm lives in Canada and one arm lives in Hungary. The design aspect takes place in Canada and the uh, manufacturing takes place in Hungary. That unique family dynamic provides all kinds of advantages, which are really, really cool. This company is not only a family company, but all of the, the workers are also motorcyclists. So they are passionate about adventure. They're passionate about getting other people inspired to get out and do their own adventures. And their workmanship and quality is top notch in spite of very reasonable prices. Now, if you want to spend two or three thousand dollars, you could certainly go with the Aprilia Touareg OEM brand of luggage racks. But the products I'm going to show you today are going to be just as good, if not better probably lighter and going to cost you way less. I'm going to be installing the side racks which run you about 230 bucks, maybe a little bit more if you get the cross braces with them. And the back luggage rack is going to run you 220. Very reasonable for the high-end product that they are. Let's get to work. The first thing we're going to want to install is the rear luggage rack. The rear luggage rack basically has three components, the two arms on the side and of course the rack itself. And I'm going to tell you what you're going to need to accomplish this project. It's not that difficult. Over here on the side, you can see we basically have a 13 millimeter spanner, a 10 millimeter socket, an 8 millimeter socket, and a 5 millimeter Allen wrench. Now, as always, for these kinds of builds, we do recommend a little bit of Loctite as well. The easiest way to do this is to assemble the three pieces together before you mount it to the bike. Just don't tighten everything. Keep it kind of loose, but let's get it put together. Just use the four short Allen bolts, the appropriate washers and lock nuts, and put the three pieces together. Next, we're going to remove all the old hardware from the bike. And I had previously already removed my passenger side foot pegs, which are attached with these two bolts. We're going to use some of those for mounting the rear racks. After gently laying our assembly approximately where it's going to go, we can proceed to putting in the bolts. There's basically four bolts, one, two, and three, and four. A long skinny bolt, a long thick bolt, and the same on the other side. Skinny one's gonna go to the back, thick one's gonna go to the front, and basically it's gonna be bolt, washer, through the contraption, through the spacer, and into the bike. Now, since we are also installing the luggage racks, I'm not putting Loctite on just yet because the side luggage racks will be using some of the same mounting points.
Now we simply go around and tighten everything, make it nice and secure, making sure the fit and finish is exactly where we want it. As I mentioned earlier, we're not going to tighten these 100% because we just want to make sure that everything is fitting just right. We're going to be loosening these again just to put the side racks on. Hey, so far that feels pretty amazing. So next we're going to attach the side racks. All right, for installing the luggage racks, this is the equipment that you're going to be getting as well as the tools you will need. Now, if you'll notice in the middle there, we've got those X brackets. That is an optional accessory. Very useful if you're gonna be attaching a rotopax or some other internal component onto your luggage racks. And for those, you will need a four millimeter Allen wrench. The rest of the kit is basically gonna be put together with a eight millimeter spanner, uh, same eight and 10 millimeter sockets that we used before and a six millimeter Allen wrench instead of a five millimeter Allen wrench. Personally, I will be installing the X bracket on the side that is away from the exhaust pipe. On the side that is closest to the exhaust pipe, I will be leaving the X bracket off. And they're very easy to install. You simply uh, mount them like so, and these brackets go on the back side. And of course you use your four millimeter Allen wrench to uh, secure the two. For our next step, we're going to loosen the bolts that we had for our rear rack. And since we already have everything else tightened, it should just kind of hang there and wait for us. We're just going to mount the side racks and, as discussed earlier, get our Loctite on the bolts now. I will mention that since I already have the foot pegs removed, I'm just using a shorter bolt. The unit does come with a spacer, so if you are leaving the foot pegs installed, there is a spacer that comes with it so that you can connect it and still have your passenger foot pegs installed. Now we're going to repeat the same exact process on the other side. Again using Loctite on the bolts since this will be our final tightening. But before we actually finalize our tightening, we're going to install the rear connecting rod that goes between the two sides.
And last but not least, if you've done everything right, your rear connecting rod should slip right into place. Perfect. You're going to have these little Allen bolts. The bolt goes on the outside and the nut goes on the inside. One washer each. And these are nylon lock washers, so you don't need any Loctite for this section. All right, guys, that's how you install the Outback MotorTech luggage racks and rear luggage plate. I do want to say a huge thank you to Mark Carrera at Outback Motor Tech East Coast. They do have a West Coast and an East Coast outlet, but Mark has been a huge supporter of the channel and uh, I just really want to thank him for offering to help us with this additional um, accessory on our beautiful new Touareg 660. I'm really looking forward to trying out the Outback Motor Tech setup putting some luggage on it. We've got a big trip coming up. So give us a like on this video and subscribe down below because we've got a lot of cool stuff coming. And of course, I'll do a long-term review on this amazing luggage uh, once we've done this big trip and you'll be able to see it in action on the trip as we come back. I don't wanna give away what the trip is. It's a really, really cool big adventure. Uh, obviously, if you're new to the channel, we've got lots of cool adventures. The Transamerica Trail, the Moto Photo Adventures team has done a lot of different trips down to Mexico and back done uh, the mid-Atlantic backcountry discovery route. So if you want to check out any of those playlists, go ahead. For now, I think I've lost about a pound of water. It's like 100 degrees in the, in the garage down here in South Carolina. So I am going to hydrate, clean up, and I will see you on the next one.